Look, I know studying for nursing school can be really stressful. You're constantly worried, am I studying the right way? Is there a better way to use my time? Is this actually helping me? Maybe I should be doing things differently. And you constantly second guess yourself and your studying habits. And it, it makes it really overwhelming and it, it stresses you out more than what it needs to. So I'm gonna give you guys eight different ways that I personally love to study. These are the ones that I always go back to. Sometimes I just use one, sometimes I'm using a multitude of them. Especially if it's something that I'm struggling with, I will go back to these eight different ways and I will try to use as many as I can um, to help me understand that concept. But I just wanna share these with you guys. Again, these are not set in stone. You may have different ways that you love to study that works wonderfully for you. And if you're doing great in school, you're passing your exams and, and the way that you've been studying has been working, there's no need to change it. It's important to keep in mind that these study methods work for me and they may or may not work for you. But if anything, hopefully you'll get some good tips out of this video and maybe add some new study methods to your study arsenal that you have already. So let's go ahead and dive into the eight different ways you can study while in nursing school. Study method number one is good old fashioned flashcards. You guys, flashcards are my go-to, especially for like lab values, if there's signs or symptoms that I need to know, if there's medical terms that I need to know that I don't know already. Um, sometimes I use them for medications, I use them for different diseases. If there's any lists, any processes or steps to something, I love flashcards for them. They're easy to make. You can take them with you anywhere and study them. You don't need folders or binders or anything like that. Just pop them in your purse, in your bag, in your book bag, whatever. Take them with you and you can study on the go. I especially use them the most for lab values. Um, every time we start a new unit, I always create a new set of flashcards just for lab values for that specific unit. And it's helped me tremendously because y'all know lab values are gonna be on your exam and you need to know them for sure. So flashcards are an awesome way to help you study. Study method number two is handwritten notes. Now listen, there's some really smart people out there in the world who did these really fancy studies that prove that we actually learn better when we hand write our notes. And I hand write my notes all the time, unless it's like really content heavy, units, then nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have handwritten notes for them. And even on those content heavy units, sometimes I still just do key points or most important concepts, just handwritten notes, because I know that those are probably gonna end up on an exam and they're really, really important for me to understand. Now, if you're gonna do handwritten notes, I do have a couple of tips for you. Number one is to study while you write your notes. So slow down. The goal isn't just to get them finished and be done so then you can study use your time effectively and actually study while you're writing your notes down. That's been a big problem of mine. In my head, I'm constantly like, just get your notes done, Ashley, and then you can study. But if I study while I actually take my notes, that's a more effective way to do it. It's not, you know, not, not don't need to be in a hurry here. We, we got a little bit of time, but definitely slow down with your handwritten notes. Study while you do them. Now, there was another study done by really super smart people that prove we actually learn things better if it's in color versus in black or white. So if you can use colored pens or highlighters, that would actually help tremendously with your handwritten notes. If you can use fun shapes and boxes and circles and stars and highlight things, underline things, really just kind of makes it fun too because let's be honest, studying gets very, very boring, but it also helps you to learn better. So those are my tips for handwritten notes. They're an oldie, but man, they are absolutely phenomenal for nursing school. The third study method is to use a whiteboard. I absolutely love pulling my whiteboard out, especially if I have to write things over and over and over again. I'm getting to a point now where it's becoming extremely hard for me to retain information. I'm kind of at an information overload. So sometimes I pull my whiteboard out and I'm literally just rewriting things over and over and over again. And this is great too, because I can write faster on the whiteboard than I can on paper and I'm not using paper. So. It's a win-win there. And then also the dry erase markers come in colors. Another thing that whiteboards are great for is to study for math. You can do your med calculations over and over and over again on a whiteboard. I recommend having some smaller whiteboards and then also having a bigger one. Um, this just kind of helps change it up a little bit. If you want to sit on the couch and study, you can use a small one and just do math problems. Also, these are great for kids. So if you're a mom and you're trying to study, you can have your whiteboard set up to where you're, you're studying your practice and then have a couple of small ones set up for the kiddos where they can draw and make a mess and do whatever because dry erase markers are pretty easy to clean up. Although they do stick to some things. 
but it keeps the kiddos entertained. You guys are kind of doing something together, and then you're also um, getting to study out of it. So it's a great little tool to use for nursing school. Study method number four would be mnemonics. Mnemonics are fantastic for signs and symptoms, for phases, for steps. Um, one thing that I did use mnemonics for, which was really, really helpful, was the cranial nerve assessment. This really helped me get through all, the, all 12 of the cranial nerves, knowing which nerve went to which number, and then also how to assess each one of the nerves. And I really used it a lot in anatomy, a lot more anatomy than I did in nursing school. But there are a few times that mnemonics do come in, come in handy, and it's a really nice thing to remember and not to forget about because it may help you more than it did me. Now, one thing I would say is maybe not use mnemonics with medications. I have found personally that that gets, that gets really confusing. And it's really easy for me to mess up meds because a lot of meds are spelled very, very similar. So it gets really hard with that. I personally don't use mnemonics for medications, but it may be the golden ticket that you needed to help you remember meds. But don't forget about mnemonics because they can help you in certain aspects of nursing school for sure. Study method number five is to have a spouse, a friend, a partner, just someone to help you study. Now this is great because typically they don't know what they're talking about. Like I'm, I literally mean find someone outside of nursing school. Someone who doesn't know the right questions to ask. Someone who doesn't understand because this really makes you think. If you sit down with your spouse, your partner, your friend, whatever, and they're trying to come up with questions to ask, you have to rack your brain to figure out what the heck it is that they're talking about, even if they have your notes, because sometimes they get really confused. For example, I love to sit down with my husband. And I'm like, I'll hand him my notes, and I'm like, here, ask me questions. And he's like, I, I don't know what to ask. And I'm like, well, just start start to read something. Let me, let me see if I can remember it. Or another really great way to do this is I will have him sometimes just name the disease, and then I tell him everything that I know about that disease. And then whatever I missed, he'll try to ask questions about it and then that helps jog my memory. So I love studying with someone who's not in nursing school. It really makes me think. It really helps me understand things and it's it's kind of interesting sometimes because now that you know it, you're like, oh, let me teach you about it. Let me teach you what I learned. So I love teaching my husband. I have taught him all kinds of things from the get-go, um, which really helps me too because as we're learning, as we're studying together, I get to explain concepts to him which in turn helps me learn. So ask a friend who's not in nursing school to help you study. Study method number six is Kahoot. Now this is absolutely phenomenal for my fellow nursing students who are mamas out there. I know how hard it is to try to study when it's just you and your kiddo at the house. It's nearly impossible because you hear mom 372,000 times in the matter of 37 seconds. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I just need to study this. Um, so Kahoot is a wonderful thing to use. I used it a lot more in the first and second, first, second, and third semester than what I did the fourth, but I love Kahoot. So what it is is you um, input questions and answers, and then you have an app on your phone where you actually get to play a game. This is great for moms because you sit down with your kiddos, and they think you're playing a game, and really you're getting to study. So it's a win-win. You're doing something fun with your kids. They're getting to um, hang out with you and spend time with you, but you're also getting to study. And I think something else that's great about it too is whenever you're actually putting in the questions and the answers, you have to kind of think things through. You have to come up with four different answers for it. You can use three, you don't have to use four. I think the minimum actually is two answers. You have to have two. And then you select the one that's right and then once you're in the game, you have to, well you don't have to get it correctly, but that's the goal, right? So it kind of helps you think through things. It helps you come up with questions about concepts and answers for it. And then also you get to spend a lot of time with your kiddos. now. If you don't have children and you're watching this, this is great to do with other fellow nursing students. Y'all can make different Kahoot games, get together as a study group, and that could be the way that you guys study. It's just something different, something to change things up. And I found that it's harder when you're going through someone else's Kahoot game. So if you can get a fellow nursing student to make some and then you guys swap them, that helps you learn a lot better. So I love Kahoot. You may love it too. You may not. Give it a try. See what you think about it. It's just another great study method to help you get through these exams. Now listen, for study method number seven, you may think I'm slightly crazy when I tell you this, but I swear by it. It helps me so, so much. Study method number seven is to play school. <laughs> you might feel a little crazy at first, like, you know, like you're a child again. It brings back some old memories when I used to play school. But what I do, especially if I'm struggling with something, I have pretend students in this office and I've got to teach them this concept. And guess what? they don't know a darn thing about it, so I gotta break it down for them. Oh my gosh, you guys, it helps me tremendously. Yes, I'm standing in my office talking to myself. 
you know what, at this point, I don't care if it helps me get through this. If it helps me learn things, then I'm absolutely going to do it. But sometimes I will pretend like I'm a teacher and I'm teaching these invisible students about nursing. <laughs> now, here's the kicker. You combine that with a whiteboard and you just got yourself a homeschool system. Let me tell you, that is a great little school right there in your house. Absolutely phenomenal. I love doing this, especially with things that I'm struggling with. Um, it may help you. It may not. You may be like, I'm not, I'm not pretending like I'm a teacher, Ashley. That's, that's crazy. That's all right. I'll be crazy. I'll be crazy over here by myself. I don't care because it has helped me a bunch. Okay, last but not least is study method number eight, which is to type your notes. Most of the time I do handwritten notes. I don't actually type them up. But if we have a really big, super big content heavy unit that we're going over, I will actually type my notes up because it is faster. Now the problem with typing your notes is that we can mindlessly type. We can just type our little hearts out and we don't have to think about anything that we're typing. We can just get it typed up or you can copy and paste from the PowerPoints or you know guides or whatever that your instructors give you. And so that's really mindless as well and you're not actually having to think through things. But on the big, big content heavy units, I do like to type my notes because it's a lot faster and I can organize things better in my style, not in the style that the instructors organized it. And that helps me to study more. So sometimes I do type my notes. I definitely recommend um, printing them out, not studying them from the computer, but printing them out and then adding color boxes, lines, um, highlighting things, whatever you have to do to make different concepts on that study guide to actually pop. But sometimes I do go back to actually typing up my notes. It has helped me tremendously on many occasions. So don't forget about type notes, but also I would say I wouldn't solely type all of your notes. That does make it hard. And, and I definitely don't recommend studying from the computer because there comes a time where you're just like, and you're just staring into space. Like you're not focused at all and that's not helpful. So there you have it. Those are the eight different ways that I've been studying in a nursing school that's really helped me out throughout this entire process. I'm getting ready to go into my final semester. Thank goodness there's light at the end of this tunnel. But I love these. These are the ones that I always fall back to. Now if you guys have any kind of study methods that you do that has helped you a lot, please comment below and let us know. That way fellow nursing students can read the comments and maybe hopefully come up with some new study methods because look, studying gets boring. It gets to a point where you're just done with it and you, you feel like your brain is just a chunky bowl of soup. So it makes it really hard. So if we can all come together, work together and help each other get through this process, we'll be better for it. And as always, if you guys have absolutely any questions whatsoever, if you're struggling, if you need help, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.